All right, Brewer Spring Training Day 10 has happened, and South really could start out with a ground out to short. William Contreras would hit an oppo single. Willie Adams would hit a triple out to center. This is on deck. And the 3-2 to Adamas. Line drive, base hit left center. That's going to split the gap and go all the way to the wall. Contreras will score with ease. Willie Adamas burning around second. He's headed for third. The relay throw. Will Reese Hoskins would strike out for the second out. Jake Bowers would get an RBI single, then he would steal second base. A Jackson Churio double, then a Bryce Ring single would make it 4-0 Milwaukee. Gordon at bats for Jackson Churio. Starting games against big league starter Logan Webb. Line drive left center. That's going to get down for another hit. Bowers scores. Churio's on his way to second. The throw is offline. Another two-strike base hit. Now the ball gets away from the second baseman, and there goes Churio for third. Reese Hoskins would hit a solo home run. Count. Hoskins struck out in the first. Logan Webb's one and one is lifted deep to left, backing up Conforto, back shielding his eyes at the track, at the wall. See you later. Reese Hoskins hits it into the Brewers' bullpen for a solo home run. Joey Ortiz would follow to center for the third out. Practical one, two, three, except for a Michael Conforto walk. Another one, two, three by Logan Webb. A Wilmer Flores double, then a Tom Murphy single. Then 1-2-3 after that. A whole rally would happen, making it 5-2 Milwaukee. Wilmer Flores would be walked, making it bases loaded. Tom Murphy would get the first out. Wade Meckler would get an RBI single. Pitch, Meckler swings and a line drive, base hit into left center. Coming in to score is Soler. Right behind him, Flores. He'll score without a throw. Murphy to second. Marco Luciano would strike out, then Luis Montos would line out. Logan Webb would get the first out, then Tanner Keese would get the last two. Devin Williams would come in for Sam Carlson. Lamont Wade would strike out. Then Tyrell Estrada would get walked, and Michael Conforto would tie up the game. Jorge Soler would get walked. Blake Sable would come into the game, and then Wilbur Flores would get balked. Then Wilmer Flores would hit a double, making it 7-5 to five Giants. One pitch, a swing, there's a drive, high and deep, right center field. Churio going back, it's off the bottom of the wall. And this will score a pair. Conforto comes across, Sable right behind him, and easing into second with his second double. of Ryan Middendorf would come into the game. A double and a single would make it 9-5 Giants. Marco Luciano would hit a single, then Luis Montos would ground out, making it 10-5 Giants. Lamont Wade Jr. would hit a single. Trenton Brooks would then replace him. Tyro Estrada would get the third out. Here's a list of substitutions. T Taylor Rogers for Tanner Keast. Taylor would go 1 2 3 except for a William Contreras walk. My friend Matthew Wood, then Yanni Hernandez and Wes Clark would come into the game. Joe Ross would replace Ryan Middendorf. Conforto would get walked, then Yusni LDS would come in. Blake Sable will get the first out on a ground out to second. Brett Wisely will get walked. Then Joey Bart would come in for Tom Murphy. Joey Bart will get walked, then Wade Meckler will hit a single, making it the 11-5 Giants. Helio Ramos would replace Wade Meckler, then Marco Luciano, and then Luis Montos would strike out. List of substitutions, and Tyler Rogers for Taylor Rogers. Jackson Churio would hit an oppo double. Chris Roller would then replace Jackson. Bryce Durant ground out, Joey Ortiz RBI, then Blake Perkins ground out. More substitutions. Trenton Brooks would hit a single out to center. Tyler Fitzgerald would strike out, then use Neil Diaz would strike out. Blake Sable would hit a single out to second. Cooper Hummel would come in, then Brett Wisely would get the third out. Cooper Hummel would stay into the game, and then Randy Rodriguez would replace Tyler Rogers. Oliver Drum would get walked, then my friend Matthew Wood would get walked. A wild pitch would move the runners to second and third. Yanni Hernandez and Wes Clark would strike out. Jake Bowers would get walked, then Hedbert Perez would replace him. Chris Roller would hit a single, making it 7-11 to Giants. Then Brewer Hicklin would ground out to second for the third out. Hedbert Perez would stay in the game, then Tyago Vieira would replace Joe Ross. Joey Bart would hit a single. Helio Ramos would ground out for the first out. Ishmael Manguia would single, then steal second base. Otto Lopez would make it 13-7 Giants. 
Trenton Brooks would strike out, and so would Tyler Fitzgerald. Tommy Romero would come in for Randy Rodriguez, and he'd have a practical 1-2-3. Eighth inning, and Hobie Milner would come in for Tiago Vieira. Yusniel Diaz would hit a double out to the left. Cooper Hummel would hit a pop-out up to first. A wild pitch by Hobie Milner would move Yusniel to third. Brett Wisely, then Joey Bart would strike out. Carson Seymour would replace Tommy Romero. Yanni Hernandez would ground out to second. Wes Clark would hit a solo home run out the left, making it 13 to 8 Giants. Coming up, one gone in this ninth inning. Brewers will be back at it again tomorrow. High towering drive by Clark. He's just putting the bat down and jogging. Oh my goodness. Over the bullpen and onto the berm in deep left for Clark. Another homer for the Brewers' first baseman. The final two outs of the day would be Hedbert Perez and then Chris Ruller striking out. The Brewers' perspective Brewers player of the game goes to Jackson Churio. If you like Chris, hit like and subscribe and uh, goodbye.